Hello, and welcome to a brand new Top Favorites list. Across this great nation, almost everyone has been affected in one way or another by this terrible tomato onslaught. Mrs. Williams, I understand your husband is missing. Yes, Do you he think is. he's dead? Well, I, I Will you miss him? Well, Will you marry well, again? Ah, what if he's laying in a ditch somewhere, like, with both his legs broken, ah, calling your name? You will have to find another man, you know. You're no spring chicken. I was giggling the whole time I watched this movie. If you like Mel Brooks or Monty Python kind of silly humor, then I don't see why you won't like this. So just sit back and giggle for an hour and a half. <laughs> Join Mason Dixon in a race against time as he battles to save the world from the threat of nature's perfect eating machine, the killer tomato. The noises the, the tomatoes make, it, I'll, I'll be on my deathbed and I will just start giggling profusely. The noises the tomatoes make in attacking the killer tomatoes! <laughs> and then I'll die happy. Speaking of Mel Brooks... Gene Wilder was absolute perfection in this. Every bit was spot on and well timed. You played that music in the middle of the night? Yes! To get us into the laboratory? Yes! And it was you who left my grandfather's book out for me to find? Yes! So that I would? Yes! Then you and Victor were? Say it! He was my boyfriend! Oh my god, Madeline Kahn is brilliant, and I just... I'm, I'm, I'm engaged, and, and once he took but, but I didn't, it was never enough time. All the... sweet mystery of life, at last I found you. This movie is amazing, go watch it after you watch this. This guy means business. <laughs> the plane all because brownie has a bad dream <sighs> i saw it the plane it's gonna blow up it's gonna blow up where are we some kind of alternate universe it's based on my imagination somehow and you brought me here you sick and troublesome human hey the only way back home is through my head anything happens to me and you're stuck here forever because you wait i can still do stuff to your legs right i guess but Wait! No! God, curse you! Everything about this episode is awesome. He's an alien invading Earth for his superiors. Mainly because they sent him far, far away from them because he's a horrible invader. And really annoying. In this episode, you have Zim experiencing Halloween for the very first time, which makes it funny. <laughs> Halloween! Now it's just a shamelessly commercial ploy to turn children into candy-starved zombies. <laughs> but it was once a nice... <laughs> what is it now, Zim? The Dib! He's missing! They've taken him and drained him of his sweet, sweet blood candies. And the level of spookiness is added by Dib's Horrible nightmare visions. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Horrible nightmare visions. It's called life, Dib. Sit down. It's just fucking great, okay? Gar, stop him! Defensive mode! I've had enough of your nonsense from your smelly mouth filled with corn! I haven't been eating corn. Liar! And I relate to Gur more than I should in this episode. If 
all that candy was nothing but Reese's anything, then that would be me. So Reese's cups, pieces, ice, ice cream, uh, everything. You failed me! You will be condemned to the realm of eternal screaming and oh, restlessness! But I don't really want to go there. You'll just have to accept it. Here's your ticket. Well, see you guys. Have a lot or woozles there be sly. 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 Scream. <laughs> oh, right, there's a body in my closet. I should probably do something about that. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. I prefer the movies that poke fun at their genre or don't take themselves seriously. I've seen Halloween, I've seen The Evil Dead, I've seen the original Friday the 13th and then the 2009 remake. I've seen The Exorcist, the original. All of those movies, I'm like, I can take it or leave it. I just pissed off so many people, I know, I'm sorry. But what keeps me coming back to the movies that I talked about here is their level of just having fun. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs and she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. And this is definitely one of them. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless victim? Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. I love you, Rose McGowan. I really do. It's funny and it's enjoyable. So go watch it and just have a ball. Get another beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. For my honorable mentions. Do, 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 do. Or did the butler do it? No. Nah. No. Nah. No. Paramount Pictures invites you to an evening of mystery. Let us in! Let us in! Let us out! Let us out! Murder. This is getting quite serious. I made you something. Stand. There was an accident. And everybody died. The trouble was, they didn't stay dead. How is she still standing? She isn't standing now. Coming for you. Shut her down. Everything I've ever done is being used against me. I'm gonna kill you. Good luck. You'll need it. Don't come near me, you spiteful spook! I will burn your life and every person in it like a cane field in a high wind. It's the most important part of the story, the ending. What if it was our time? What if we were not meant to get off that plane? What if there is a design, then it's not finished? By walking off the plane, you cheated that. Wherever you are, it's somewhere walking straight for you. All you can do is pass it along to someone else. Susie, do you know anything about witches? They are malefic, negative, and destructive. Looking for Sarah. She's disappeared. Just packed her bags and left. During afternoon tea, 
there's a shift in the air. A bone trembling chill that tells you she's there. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. What's wrong, Coraline? Don't you want to play? with a girl who killed herself, and now she's trying to hurt you. I think she's starting to suspect something. Ooh. Your wife. Everyone says that you're a fraud, but I've seen what you can do. Give it up, Frank. Death ain't no way to make a living. Ever since she was born, I've wanted to protect my little ghoul. So I created a place where all monsters could be safe. From them! Humans hate us. They're vicious. And they're very loud! There hasn't been a murder like this in years. The smashing of the face and the cutting off the hands. It's the sexual element. After all these fun games we've been playing, all this time that I've put into it, you have something that I want. It's showtime. Learn to throw your voice, pull your friends, butter party. This is amazing. You want a cigarette? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, here I come, baby. Anyone died in this house. Violent deaths. The house is hundreds of years old. Many souls have come and gone. How do you do? My name is Alfred Hitchcock. I'm pretty sure there's going to be many more that I'm going to add to this list eventually because I'm hooked. I want to see all of his movies. The ones that I really love so far are Psycho, Rear Window, and The Birds. I've seen Vertigo, and it is very good, um, but... Psycho is my absolute favorite. Rear Window is creepy, and I may never look at birds the same way again. Holy fuck. Alfred Hitchcock was a mastermind. If you haven't seen his films, you need to, and those are the three that I strongly recommend. I started with Psycho and fell in love in a really weird way. With a very strong grip kind of burglar needs. Hello? Hello? So that's been my super spooky top 13 favorite Halloween specials and films. Until next time, bye! Amazing Attack of the Killer Tomatoes! Wait, no, there's an explanation point in the title, so she was right. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes! Okay. <laughs> I. My window is open, by the way. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And feel free to tell me in the comments below what your favorite Halloween films and or TV specials are.